Hello friends and subscribers, this is Prepper Princess. This is going to be a quick video um, and sort of an update to my, sort of, not really, an update to my $100 a year uh, spending plan. So, um, first of all, I still have $17 left. All that food that you saw was, I think, $83. Um, and somebody did make a good point that there's not going to be enough protein and fishing and um, egg production is not... 100% uh, guarantee. So I am going to go and buy some beans. Well, you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to buy some beans. Um, the beans were fit 25 pounds for $12 and I believe 37 cents. And I have a ton of beans here in my stockpile. So I'm just going to use those beans toward it and deduct the money um, so that I don't have to just make another trip, which is just fine. But um, somebody else also commented on the food grade containers and they made a really good point. So um, has anybody in the audience ever let the your curiosity get the best of you and you opened up one of these containers? Me too. So um, I opened up one of these containers. First of all, let me say um, that when it comes to food grade containers, that's totally understandable if you're going to be um, saving your stuff for 25 years. But um, like I said, I've got all my oats in a Home Depot bucket. And the only thing I'm really trying to save it from is from the critters, right? And it's got a really good lid. The lid seals on really nice and tightly. Um, and if I'm going to be eating it within six months to a year, um, I should not have any problems. They do, uh, oats do store for two to three years, so these should be fine. Um, same thing with the oats, greens, bread flour, and pancake mix, uh, banana chips, anything that's dried. Um, if you're going to be eating it within a year, you're fine. Um, so I don't want anybody to think uh, that everything's just going to rot from the inside within one year. Because that's uh, kind of silly. I mean, I am going to be eating it every single day. So um, I'll be able to look in there every single day and make sure that it still looks good and it still smells good. So that's something to keep in mind. When you open this up, this is um, like Cheerios. And uh, this is what it looks like. It looks like a weird thing that should have been in the movie The Martian or up on the space station to reflect some sun from space. I don't really know. But... <coughs> It is uh, vacuum sealed. Um, it's super tight and everything. And it doesn't have any seals broken. Can't really imagine any critters wanting to get in here, but I can take this and put it in a non-food container, like my home depot bucket over here. Okay, and I can take the oats and put it in here. Um, I also did, when I went to um, get my food, I also purchased these two gallon buckets and two gallon lids. See how the lid won't go on there? Now, <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of you are gonna say, just put some elbow grease into it. And yes, I did verify that the lid and the bucket are two gallons, so it should fit. Does not work, okay? I got two of them. Here's the other one, okay? I'll even show you the two gallons and the two gallons just to prove a point here real quick. Two U.S. gallons. And this is the uh, food grade lid with the, uh, the seal on the underside, which is the kind that you want. And... Okay, this one doesn't say two gallons, but it's supposed to be two gallons. I would think that it would be on the lid, but it's not. So, can't get it to close. Just need to put some elbow grease into it, right? Okay, let's do that. Is that enough elbow grease? It's not going to close. It still doesn't close. These two gallon buckets are pieces of you know what. So, I don't... <laughs> I recommend if you're going to buy food saver buckets, to purchase them while they're closed completely and then take the lid off yourself, put the lid back on, make sure it makes a really good seal because I cannot for the life of me get these to close. It's just not going to happen. Um, I could probably, I could probably even take a mallet to it and it just won't close. It just doesn't fit. So that's where I came up with this idea was to open up some of my food grade containers, take the food out and put them in Home Depot buckets and then take the food and put it in these, these buckets. So um, for all of you people out there who think that it's scary and the critters are going to get all my food and everything's going to mold within a year, that's just not the case. 
Um, I don't live in a humid, humid environment. I live in a very dry area. Um, and everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to be doing it for a year anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to keep the critters out of it um, while I consume my food. So um, that should be fine. And um, what else was there? There was... I'm trying to go over all the naysayers who keep saying that I can't do it, but um, somebody did bring up a good point. I think that I already mentioned this, that I'm going to need more protein, so, and I already did already mention that, so never mind. And um, hopefully soon here, I am taking care of my grandma um, after work every day, so I'm a little bit tired, uh, but hopefully I'm going to have a crab fishing video for you guys um, pretty soon here. I'm hoping within the next week or two. But until then, I will eventually make a video about the benefits of chicken poop in your garden um, and the benefits of composting. So, And uh, I just planted out some uh, lettuce for my winter garden, and um, the soil is black and rich and deep and beautiful, uh, mostly because of chicken poop and composting. So um, that's it for now. Do what you can with what you've got. Pepper Princess out.